All right, it's time for another weekly squared all. This is number 78, if you can believe that. I've done every week since the beginning. That's kind of crazy. Doesn't seem like it's been that long. But at any rate, this is like Wordle on a grid. If you're not familiar, the eight is how many guesses we have remaining. We'll get bonus guesses when we complete a word. And last week, somebody suggested that I should use their two word start, coast and liner, a 10 word, 10 letter, two word start, pretty typical. And then solve from there, they said they mostly get eights, but a few nines now. So we'll see if I can get an eight or a nine, okay. Coast and liner, good start. Now there's no I or L in this grid, or C, but I and L are the more surprising ones. Now, interesting, we've got ends in the second and third columns. Yeah. But, but not, um, so the one in the third column is obviously not first, it's not second, it's not third, so it's fourth or fifth. And on this one, it's first or fifth. Now we could have an N there. That makes me think SN, and we do have the orange S's, so that would be good, SNA, it could be something like snake, can't be snack, it could be probably a lot of things, snafu, for example. Um, this is, so there's an N fourth or fifth down here. There's a T in this column. ST wouldn't be too bad. We'd have ST, STO maybe? We have the red O there. That's not bad, that's not bad. Oh, if it's STO, I'm gonna be disappointed that I didn't start with store. <laughs> Cause that's my normal start if I'm just doing uh, squared all, you know, with no challenges or suggested starts or anything. Uh, Okay, well, we're on this third one now. So we don't really know anything about the row other than that there's no N or A. We don't know much about the column other than that it starts with A and there is an N, fourth or fifth. So let's do, let's do an N. What do I do? I'm thinking O over here. So maybe we'll start with O. I, I would do maybe onion, but we know there's no N in the row. Otherwise that would be pretty good. I like ending with an N. We could do something like organ. Hmm. I want to do that though. I don't know because the downside to that is, yeah, yeah, and okay, that doesn't work because we know there's no R in either of those spots. Okay. I was gonna say we know there's no A in the row, but. Something like ocean, but again, we know there's no C. What about something like often? There is an E in this column. A double E is not a bad thing to check. F is a new letter. T, there, I mean, we don't know that there couldn't be a T there. There's definitely a T in the grid somewhere. I like the N at the end because of the, the N in the column. I think that's pretty good. Let's go with often. Okay, well, all right, so so what we've determined is this is an N right there, for sure. The O was correct, so that was good. Now, this could be, this could be store. If it was, if it is, then I'm gonna be really disappointed, but that's okay. The R would be there, so we would have something like, you know, rents maybe or something? I don't know, um, it's not necessarily an R. But, well, this could be an R up here. No. Yeah, it could. It could be snark. I was going to say snarf, but there's no F. But it could be snark. It's not snafu. What is that going to be? If it's not an, if it's not snark, what's that going to be? It could be snaps, if we had another S. It could still be snake. It could still be snake, yeah. But the R's not too bad, because it could also be snare. Hmm. And R here, I mean, R is possible for both of those, which is why I like that for my guess right now. Now, I definitely don't want to do the E. So, what if we did something like rants? Because, I mean, it's possible that this is rants. It's probably not, but it's possible. We know that's an N. I like the possibility of R's up here. Uh, this T, orange T is interesting because we do have the orange T down here. If it's that, what would that be? Uh, this could be an E. Uh, 
uh, at, hmm. Or the T could be up there. I mean, it's second or fifth, the, the T in the column. Then this could be like, total? No, they can't have an O there. No, I think I like the T at the bottom better. Oh, agent, 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 okay. And then, uh, we don't know that this is a T, I guess, but it's got to be a vowel between the T and the G. It can't be an E, it can't be an O, it can't be an I, obviously. It has to be an A or a U. But I can't think of anything that works with that. See, what I'm worried about is, I'm, I'm kind of going with the R based on the ST, but this could be a T down here instead. But we know that one's not a T, so... Maybe guessing T right now is... I, I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go with... Rants. I think that's pretty good. You know, like we were just saying, if we, we need to have a vowel in the second column, and it can't be O or E here. So A, this would check for, you know, the possibility of A there. Let's go for it. Okay, well. Hmm, all right. Well, it's not store. Uh, this could be an A. We have the yellow and the red there, so that's pretty good. This, this could still be an N here. It's not necessarily an N up there. We know there's an N at the beginning or the end, but... This yellow T is interesting too, but unfortunately the T could be at the beginning or the end here. Okay, and there's an S in the last column, but it's not at the end, so it's not fourth or fifth. Maybe it's up here. Got the orange S there. This is, maybe this isn't ST. Maybe it's not ST. I mean, it could be T, no, it can't be TS. It could be T. But it can't be T-S. Uh... Tense? Tense is possible. We've got the orange S here and the orange S up there. Tense is pretty good. Uh, maybe this could be... No, I was gonna say T... Well, it could still be T-H, because, again, the N isn't necessarily here. But the N up there makes me think S at the beginning, but... Not necessarily. You could do like a G or a K or something before the end potentially too. Or or a well or what vowel? It can't be an A or an O. It could be an E. Don't really like that. What about a U? Un something. Un I mean, we could do the S. Oh, but we do need an S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So S and A. We could still have. The, we could have a double S up here, maybe. Sloth. That's pretty good. Sloth is good. And lag. Hmm. Logger? No. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We need an R and an N down here. And neither one of them would go between an H and a T. So then you'd have to have R, N at the end. No, that doesn't work. Okay, that doesn't work. Hmm. All right, I don't, I don't, I don't like the, I don't like sloth. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, all right, well, we're at the end here. Uh. There's an R and a T in the row and the column. Let's do something ending in RT. Maybe that would be good. I'm pretty sure there's a T there though. That's the problem. Ooh, T-R-Y. Let's do... Uh, I was gonna say let's do retry, but we don't want to do that. Entry? What if we did entry? You know, the N over here is either first or last, so that'll let us locate that N. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a T, possibly agent, but I think the T's at the end here.
This isn't an R, but we know there's an R in the... But this one could be an R. Or do we want to do enter? That still lets us check for R in the row, you know, another spot for R in the row in the column. And I was thinking tense. Let's do enter. Yes. Okay. Okay. That was really good. Now, what's going to, uh, eater, eater, tense. Very good. This is going to be agent. This, uh, could be not ramen. So there's no R at the top. We need to have an S still. This has got to be S, I think. S is either first or second. Uh, and this this is a definite T now. And this is a definite S. Though that's de that's a hundred percent tense because that's the only way that those T and S could be. And so here, it, smote and mag. Magma, magma, and uh, this has got to be a vowel then up here. Uh, we need to have an R. Ooh, no, that doesn't work. Oh, we need to have. Wait, we need to. Yeah, we need to have an R in the column. This is an R. This is an R, so that's not, is that a, is that an A? What would that be if it's not Eater? Oh, Esther, Esther, there's the S here, look at this. Okay, so, mm, hmm, what is this gonna be? I don't know, maybe that's not an M. Well, this is a definite A, because it's not A-A, -A, and we know this is an, a definite S here, and the A can't be at the beginning, so that's a definite A. I feel like this almost has to be agent. This is a definite E. Oh, this has got to be overt. I hadn't even looked at the third row there. I think it's got to be overt, right? And then Raven? No. Haven? Haven? That could be. S-H? Shame and Morse? No, there's no R. Okay, okay, here's the thing. This has to be a vowel almost for sure, I think. And it can't be A or E or O or I. It's gotta be a U, doesn't it? But what? Because it can't be nurse. There's white and curse? This is not necessarily an H, but it's something like space, but then, no, that doesn't work. Um, cause this has to be like Raven, which there's no R or Haven. I think, I think that's gotta be an H. So. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like I'm missing something obvious. Is this not agent? Is there something else this could be? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think it's gotta be a G. I mean, I was thinking smote. I don't know what's gonna happen across here, but... Oh! oh! No, purse. I didn't think about purse. I thought about nurse and curse. Purse and shape. I like that. I still don't know what's happening here, though. M Magus? 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 Is that like... Is that like the singular of magi or something somehow? I'm not sure. Maybe that's... Maybe that's what that is. I don't know that word. Okay, well that's what I'm thinking now. Um, so let's do, I mean, the third and fifth letters don't really matter at this point. We've got it for both, so let's do, let's do shape. Oh, okay. It is shape. All right, and then 
Mm, Matt, man, do I want to do that? That's five new letters. I think I got to go for that. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. All right. Let me know what that is. I don't. I'm not familiar with that word actually. So, uh, and then we want to do overt, and then we will end with tense, and we ended with seven. So not eight or nine, but uh, man, ma magus, magus. It's not too often that a word comes up in here that I've never heard before, so that is unusual. All right, well, maybe it's, and it's probably something that everybody knows and I don't, and that always happens where somebody says, I've never heard of that word, and everybody else says, oh, it's super common. So everybody's got a couple of those words that they don't know for whatever reason. But yeah, all right, well, shape, magus, magus, overt, tense, enter, smote, haven, agent, purse, and Esther. All right, there you go. Well, let me know what you thought of this start, what you thought of my solve, and if you've heard of all of those words before or not. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. If any of you are Hitchhiker's uh, Guide to the Galaxy fans, I'm waiting for the babble oh, fish yeah. to Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's actually what I was thinking is uh, another good use for a robot is how many of you have been yelling kudos since I got the bonus word, kudo? I got distracted looking at my own videos. Whew, well, maybe Churn and Cacao are gonna save us, because Jazzy and Geese were not good at all. Ooh, that was really good. Okay, okay. Uh, so, so that makes me think dude. The, somebody the dude. Let's try that. Yes! Okay, scrap? I hope so, because it's our last guess. Woo, okay.